Oh, right, Andy, well that all went all right. Uh, no, uh, no great problems. So um, we're all off. There's nothing really more that we've seen up to now that we didn't already know about. You know, we've got fairly nasty brake lines, uh, quite rusty fuel lines. Um, the the welding on the exhaust, I think, is appalling. And uh, I must admit that would really really be uh, bugging me uh, if it were mine so we'll need to talk to you about that I guess um, chassis we'll deal with uh, fuel lines, brake lines are all not very nice um, what we're doing now we're just going to get the prop shaft off and then pull the engine out and pull the fuel tank off so that in the morning we can give this a fairly hard steam clean and see exactly what we have got. Um, I think the chassis has had some welding maybe by the looks of it, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to, again, look a bit harder once the... Not, not, not that it, it, it really matters, it's just, it is what it is. Um, but I'm, I've got mum to give you a ring. I just, I'd like you to come down so we can just say, right, now it's off. What do we do next and how, how do we proceed? Uh, do we try and keep this economic or do we just do uh, everything, you know, everything again? It does kind of seem a shame, but then, yeah, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll see. So there you go. Uh, that was Di, just telling me you're on your way. Um, body, again, nothing of any consequence. The, the wiring work on it, the... Um, the side light conversion is not very nice, so we'll we'll look at that again, um, and then tidy up in the engine bay and clean and paint underneath the car. We'll replace that header tank and just make this make this actually look like something uh, where the guy doing the work actually cares a bit about what they're doing, and because it, it doesn't look that way at the moment, you know, it's all pretty pretty manky. Um, but not to worry, we will uh, we will make something of it. So there you are, I'll, uh, I'll do some more for you in a bit.